Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this Microsoft MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination Series. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Microsoft Teams integration with Microsoft 365 services. So out of the box, Microsoft Teams brings together the most common tasks that employees need under a single roof, such as chats, meetings, calls, and productivity suite of Microsoft 365. By combining these together into a sole product, employees can avoid having to constantly switch between various contexts. Instead, they can spend their time within a single team or channel that effortlessly bring together all the relevant information in context. There are multiple ways to leverage Microsoft 365 apps and services in Microsoft Teams. The most common scenario is to add a new tab to a Teams channel. Users can also add the content to a chat from Microsoft 365 services as well. So let's look at our first example of integrating Outlook with Microsoft Teams. The integration between Outlook and Teams make it easy to collaborate no matter where the conversation is taking place. The first option is Share to Outlook. Users can share chats or channel conversation to Outlook without leaving the Teams by selecting on the Share to Outlook. Second option is Share to Teams. Users can move an email conversation from Outlook, including attachments, into a Teams chat or channel conversation by selecting on Share to Teams in Outlook. And the third option is actionable missed activity emails. Users can set the notification for missed activity emails to stay on top of missed conversations in Teams. The missed activity emails show the latest replies from the conversation and allows users to respond directly from within Outlook. Let's understand how Microsoft Teams integration worked well with SharePoint. In Microsoft Teams, users can add published SharePoint pages or list as tabs in Teams channel. SharePoint pages let users share ideas using images, video, links, and documents. SharePoint list are a great way to collaborate on content and data. Team members can view pages, edit lists, and add comments to the Teams tab. Add the SharePoint tab in Teams to quickly paste in a page, new post, or list from a published SharePoint site. Let's understand how Microsoft Teams integration work with Yammer. Users are able to add a Yammer page to a channel in Teams or install then pin the Yammer app. This allows team members to follow and share conversation in Yammer without having to leave Teams. The team members can participate in the Yammer conversation right from the Teams or discuss a Yammer conversation in Teams before posting a reply to the wider Yammer group. When a Teams member goes to a Yammer tab, they can authenticate it again by Yammer so that they only see Yammer content that they have access to. Let's go and explore how Microsoft Teams integration with Forms. Users can access Microsoft Forms directly from Microsoft Teams. Then they will be able to easily set up Forms tabs, create a new form to collect responses, and add an existing form to collect responses or show survey results. Then you can use that to collaborate with your team on a form, create notification for your form, or conduct a quick poll just for your team as well. So what about Teams integration with Planner and Task? Microsoft Planner is a task management tool that small teams of individuals can use to manage their work and associated tasks visually and openly with the rest of the team. Having Planner as a tab in Microsoft Teams 
enable the team to work more collaboratively and closer together without any added effort. Task in Teams is a cohesive task management experience that consolidates personal tasks from to-do and team tasks from planner into a single comprehensive view in Teams. For users of to-do and planner, it is a great way to access tasks while communicating within a team without having to switch apps. So how about Streams? Does Stream integrate with Microsoft Teams? Absolutely, yes. Microsoft Stream is an enterprise video service where people in your organization can upload, view, and share videos securely. Users can collaborate using video by adding a Microsoft Stream channel or video as a tab in Microsoft Teams. So let's look at some of the examples on how users can interact with the apps in Teams. The first one is chat with a bot. Bots provide answers, updates, and assistance in a channel. Users can chat with them one-on-one -on -one or in a channel. They can help with task management, scheduling, and more. Then you would be able to share content on a tab. These tabs help users to share content and functionality from their services in a channel. They can connect Microsoft services like Excel or SharePoint and other services like YouTube or Zendesk or to custom websites as well. Then you would be able to get updates from a connector. So these connectors send update and information directly to a channel to get dynamic updates from services such as Trello, Jira, Twitter, RSS feed, GitHub, and more. And these apps find content from different services and send it straight to a message. Users can share things like weather reports, daily news, images, and videos with anyone they are talking to. Messages sometimes include buttons for interacting with the app. For example, a daily weather report could include an option to download the forecast for the entire week. So now that we have understood how Microsoft Teams integrate with Outlook, Yammer, SharePoint, etc. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how Microsoft Teams integration work with Power Platform. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.